Breaking now at five, two people shot inside a Lynn barbershop by someone who opened fire outside. A woman who witnessed this jumped into action trying to chase down that suspect. WBZ's Nick Emmons is live in Lynn tonight with the latest on this. Nick? Yeah, pretty alarming stuff here. We understand that the two people shot were employees of this barbershop. One was shot in the upper body. The other was shot in the head. The good news after hearing that, though, is that their injuries appear to be non-life-threatening, but still, for people in this area who saw it play out, it was pretty alarming. It happened in broad daylight. Boom, boom. On a busy street packed with people. Until he walked across the street, positioned himself in front of the building, and shot four times. The employees inside Rudy's barbershop on Lewis Street were essentially ambushed as people watched it all play out from across the street. Pop, 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 pop. That's what I heard. We just both all stopped. I turned around. Uh, we saw a guy running down the street and a woman chasing him. I just chased him. I just I was trying to try to go as fast as I could. Amberis Contreras works at the barbershop and says she was just steps away from the owner, 44-year-old Rudy Bernabel, when he was struck in the head. I hear pop, 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 the windows shattered. I just ran after him, and I ran down that street. I had to. I was like, I had to see who this person was. She has no idea why someone would target anyone inside the shop, especially the owner, who she describes as a hard worker and a loving father of five. He's the, he's the sweetest man you can ever know. He's not a troublemaker. We've been here for almost, he's been there almost 15 years. Like, no, nobody ever started anything over here. Police are now looking at surveillance video from the area, hoping to track down the shooter. But I hope they catch him. I hope you, you get caught. So we were told that there were customers also inside at the time. It's amazing uh, more people weren't injured in all of this. Again, the two people shot those employees. Their injuries are non-life-threatening. We did see several security cameras in this area, and police are going to be looking over the video from the uh, surrounding area to try to see if they can find anything that helps them with this case. In Lynn, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. All right.